<laughs> hey everybody, thanks for joining us for a special edition um, uh, episode of our vlog. We're going to try something we have never done before and you're going to join us for it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. It's it it's been a weird weekend. Yeah. Winter arrived again okay. yesterday. It snowed all day yesterday. It's been in the 60s and out of nowhere it's snowing all day yesterday. Yeah. So this turned into kind of a lazy, cozy, sitting by the fire kind of weekend. Yep. Um so um I also have a little bit of a sweet tooth right now. So we decided to do this thing that we've been wanting to do for a while. Here it is. Finally, we're so excited to do this. Yes. We have a buddy. His name's Alistair. You may know him as Jogger Vlogger. Um, when we saw him at Marathon Weekend, uh, Run Disney Marathon Weekend this January, he brought us a huge shopping bag full of British chocolate. And you know what? Thank you Thank so you. much, Alistair. We're <laughs> rationing it out. We're making oh it last as long as we can because it yeah. is so delicious. One thing that I thought was really surprising, so I knew that, you know, we can get our hands on some Cadbury here. Yeah. And that's probably it in terms of like British chocolates. Um, obviously not all the different kinds that he was no. able to give us, but one thing that I was really surprised to see was some candies that we can get here, like American candies or what I've always considered to be American candies. I don't know if that's true or not. Things like Twix, uh, Rolos. Um, and then a couple others that we found going through them that were very reminiscent of candies that we grew up with, yeah. but are called something totally different. So um, what we thought we would do is a little side by side. So we have Twix and we have Rolos, um, ones that we bought at the store last week and ones from, um, from UK, England. From the UK, yeah. Uh, we also have a, let's see what's next. Um, we have uh, their version, of, it's called a Milky Way, but it's not our Milky Way. It's more akin to say a Three Musketeers. So we're gonna do a little side by side of British Milky Way and American Three Musketeers. Mm -hmm. And then finally we have our Milky Way, which is closer in construction to their Mars bar. So we're gonna do those four side by side. By the end of this, I bet my sweet tooth will be sated. What do we wanna do first? <laughs> so what what we've what we've discovered just in like tasting these like it really kind of blew our minds yeah. how different oh, yeah. the Twix and the Rolos were from yeah. what we were accustomed to. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do a little side by side. I think first David wants to do a little test to yeah, see yeah, yeah. if we can pick pick out British versus American yeah. chocolate. So, so here's the deal: if you, if you if you look at this video, here's a comparison of the the the, the chocolates in their wrappers and then uh, without their wrappers. And then uh, we decided, well, we needed to. We, we cut them up. Yeah, they're innards. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what's really surprising is, one, the size, right? Guess uh, whose are bigger. <laughs> yeah. And, and then also just, like, even, even the inside, like the caramel and stuff, it, it, it looks different. And mm -hmm. Or the so, chocolate. <clears throat> so the, yeah. the American ones are totally smooth on top. There's not a crack. There's not a crease. Mm -hmm. 100% smooth and the the British chocolates are kind of cracked, yeah. you know, like they got they got pressed uh -huh. in transit and the the chocolate cracked and we don't see that a whole lot in um, American chocolate. And even the even kind of the, the sheen to the chocolate, right? Mm -hmm. The outside of the chocolate, like uh, the Twix, American Twix chocolate is kind of a like a matte uh, mm -hmm. uh, color yeah, and uh, the British chocolate is uh, kind of shiny. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so anyway, so here's what. I thought we would do because, first sweet of all, tooth, a sweet tooth, sweet B, tooth, British <laughs> chocolate is awesome. Yeah, yeah. So what I thought uh, I would do is I want to blindfold uh, Laura. I'll just close my eyes. She'll close her eyes, <laughs> and I'm going to give her a chocolate. Oh, I'll, I'll take my glasses off. That's as good as blindfold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. Uh, <laughs> she's going to eat a chocolate. I'm going to give her a chocolate from either U.S. or U.K. She's going to eat it. Then I'm going to give her the corresponding chocolate. Uh, and then she's going to try to decide which one she thought was the U.S. and which one was the it's U.K. It's like going to the eye doctor. One yeah. or two? One or two. One or two. One or two. So, let's do that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Rolo Candy presents the Chewy Rolos. There are lots of Chewy Rolos in the roll for you. If you choose me about what you choose. Real milk, chocolate, and caramel too. Choo, 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 choo. 
Okay, so <laughs> here we go. So okay. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick one. I'm gonna give it to you, no mm -hmm. looking. Right. And then you tell me. Okay, there we go, first one. Corn. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and now, mm -hmm. here comes its corresponding chocolate. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm not sure. Okay. Mm. Mm, okay. I think the second one was American, and the first one was British. Final answer. Is that your final answer? Do, final you, answer. do you want to phone a friend? Which one was it? <laughs> The first one was American. No way. Yeah. Okay. The second. So the one, reason I thought the first one was British yeah. was because it was like crunchier. Oh. And then the caramel tasted different on the second one, and I thought, oh, mmm, mmm, this changes things. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Round two. Oh, we're still doing this. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're still doing this. Are we doing this through the whole thing? No, no, we just want to do okay. it. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, now the corresponding one. All right, drum roll. <laughs> I think the second one was British. The caramel seemed a little, um, seemed kind of thick. Final are we, we going to have to cut all of this because final, I'm no. answering incorrectly? <laughs> no. Know. Final answer? That's my final answer. That is correct. Okay. You got it right. Okay. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> so I would like to keep going on with this, but I want some chocolate. So now we're just going to compare and I'll let you know what we're trying. And uh, so that was a Rolo <clears throat> first and then a Twix. Um, they actually tasted pretty similar, really? I think. I know, but when we, I don't know, maybe we're biased. Let me see. I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try an American Rolo, a half, of a one. Oh yeah, it is crunchy on the mm -hmm. outside, huh? All right. Oh. It's not bad. It's good. It's a Rolo. And this is a UK Rolo. Oh. Oh. See, the caramel tastes different, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the deal. But it is also crunchy, I just didn't <clears throat> use it. Wow, the, 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 ro the UK Rolo caramel is like Jeez. Like smoky. So this is what's happening to it also when I'm trying to just oh. casually is that the UK take one? a half of one over here. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the caramel in the UK Rolo is kind of smoky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? It's kind mm -hmm. of smoky. And in the caramel in the, the US Rolo, it just tastes like caramel. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah. It tastes like caramel. It's more flavorful caramel on the yeah. side. Yeah. No, that's pretty good. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to try uh, US Twix. Cut it. Yeah, that's what I remember from a U.S. Twix. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. here's the British Twix. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the butt. The butt in looks the same. Mm. Well, I gotta say. The UK Twix is so much better. The cookie is denser yeah. if you look at it. Oh yeah. So the US I'm not sure this will work, but for me the US Twix, which one's which? This one's British, this one's American. Uh, but it's blurry, so it doesn't matter. The US Twix cookie is kinda like stale. Mm. And the UK Twix cookie was like really nice. Mm -hmm. And it has a really good flavor. No aftertaste. Man, that was really good. That's really, really good. Okay, so those are the 
theoretically same mm -hmm. two things. So next we have Three Musketeers versus a Milky Way. Coffee, tea, or milk? Milk, please. Milky Way is a magic way with milk. Uh, yes. Okay. This is English Milky okay. Way. This is okay. Three Musketeers. So. so it's chocolate surrounding nougat, basically. The nougat is different color for yeah. each. So the Three Musketeers, you know, is like kind of brown color, but the Milky Way is whiter. I guess, like a so Milky Way. So that's a U.S. Three Musketeer. And this is a U.K. Milky Way. Milky Way. But... Obviously, they're they're kind of the same, right? It's the same concept. So, the, I mean, they're not one for one, but I, I figured it was a good so which one approximation. I'm going to do the Three Musketeers. All right, me too. Three Musketeers. U.S. Three Musketeers. That's chewier than I remember. Mm. Uh, I got to okay. say, I really don't like it. You said you never liked these, though, right? Yeah. I never liked Three Musketeers. There was something weird about that. It does the taste a little weird. Chocolate like or something. The inside tastes. <clears throat> it's okay. Yeah. Okay, now the UK Milky mm. Way. It's soft. Mm. And it just tastes like sweet. Mm. That's really good. It doesn't have that weird. Mm -mm. Like, aftertaste. The, I think the nougat has a different taste than the Three Musketeers. Yeah. And again, they're not exactly the same, but. Mm. Uh, that's good. Almost a little nutty. Yeah, right. At the end mm -hmm. too. Well, I'm gonna have to give a uh, Milky Way. Milky that's Way, good. yeah, UK Milky Way. Okay, next up. Milky Way. The U.S. Milky mm -hmm. Way, which is this. That's a U.S. Milky Way, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. compared to the U.K. Mars Bar. Mars Bar. Oof. It, oh dang. Oh. Weigh it up. What else gives you such value? Mars, with all the goodness of milk, glucose, sugar, and thick, thick chocolate. Big bar enjoyment and big bar value. Weigh it up. A Mars a day helps you work, rest, and play. Oh, wow. It busted a leak and it stuck to our cutting board. So this is a, a UK Mars bar. So U.S. Milky Way, uh, yeah, U.S. Milky Way. Milky Way and UK Mars, Mars bar. bar. So I'm going to try the U.S. Milky Way. Mm. It's good. Also chewy. Mm -hmm. Like kind of getting my fillings chewy. Okay. That was okay. I'll, I'll tell you what, the U.S. Mm. Milky Way is so much better than the U.S. Three Musketeers. Yeah, I agree with that. Or something like ooh. So, no, yeah, U.S. Milky Way is good. Okay, Mars now the bar. Mars Bar, UK. Oh, man. Oh, the caramel in that is so good. Oh, man. Mm. Like, you can really taste the caramel. Mm-hmm. And you can't really... Yeah. I mean, it has the same amount, but... So it's I don't, different. I don't think it would, it would show, but, like... Well, I'll try. So, <clears throat> this one I cut through, and it's, like... That's the U.S. It's cut, like, clean. There's nothing oozing. There's nothing... Nothing happening here. It's it's perfectly straight where I cut it. But over here, the caramel is starting to like kind of seep out. <laughs> it's like not as set. And as, we've had these for... Um, since January. <laughs> They've been but in the wrapper since January. It's it's like the caramel is... It's like real caramel. More legit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, it's still streaming. Mm, that's good. Oh. All right, so here are the boats. Okay. Well, admittedly... I was surprised. So when we sit around and we eat these British chocolates, we're like, oh man, this is amazing. This is the best thing we've ever had. <laughs> yeah. Oh, blah, blah. Yeah. That's exactly I, how it goes. Doing this side by side, I expected, um, especially on the two that were the same, because when we when we would eat the, you know, standalone British Twix and Rolos, we would gush about how uh -huh. wonderful it was. Uh -huh. Now, admittedly, we haven't had these candies in a long time, no. American uh, version either. I was surprised at how similar, I think, the Twix and the Rolos were. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because um, well, yeah, you thought... You, I did. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
the other ones we know they're technically different so there will be more mm -hmm. stylistic um and perhaps flavor differences there but i'm the the british side of things is just so delicious yeah that's the thing it doesn't matter what you call them all of the british chocolates I'm, I'm voting for as delicious because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they really are. There's something about, um, I think even in the ingredient lists, uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> that, that's kind of interesting. When we were looking at the ingredients on the packaging, the U.S. ingredient list is like really, really long uh, and, and not so much for the U.K. So I don't know if that just has to go down. Maybe that goes down to like what you're supposed to report in respective countries mm. or what what you put in there. I, I don't um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But the the, the British um, and I'll <clears> look them up. We just threw away the packages, unfortunately, but we can look up the ingredients. I do remember them being very different um, between the two, and the British side seems to start with more like cocoa, chocolate, milk, milk fat, you know, all that stuff versus some of the um, unpronounceable some ingredients. Of the ingredients on the American side that aren't, aren't as recognizable. Yeah. Um, anyway, my sweet tooth feels great right now. So this was a fun experiment. Yeah. Um, Milky Way is better than Three Musketeers. Mars Bar is better than Milky Way. The Rolos, I think, ultimately were kind of comparable. Kind of the same. And except the, the Twix were kind of comparable. Except for the caramel, right? The caramel was different. Yeah. The caramel is different on, on the British side for sure. Oh, it was good. I'm going to keep snacking. So, uh, the UK wins. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome. It's good chocolate. And uh, we just want to send an SOS. Alistair, we need more chocolate. So. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so, uh, you know, let us know if you have an experience eating. Uh, if you have a favorite chocolate, we need to put in a request for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Let us know. We'll do this again. This was great because um, <laughs> uh, we get to eat and, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, wow, this is good. So we have more uh, chocolate. Mm -hmm. I don't think what's left we have an easy comparison yeah, point to. Some, some of it is like we, we can't do. But uh, we'll, we'll have another one of these videos uh, just to talk about uh, those chocolates. We'll try some of those. We'll let you know what we think. Uh, already, we know uh, you, it's going to oh be. Oh my gosh, the chocolates delicious. are so good. Yeah, they're 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 awesome. Thank and you so much. We didn't even really. I mean, we kind of made a joke about it, but what I really like too is that a lot of these came in kind of multi packs, but they're small. Mm -hmm. They're not like fun size small, which basically means you're going to eat like four of them. They're just big enough to satisfy. Uh -huh. A little like sweet craving, but not so big that you wish you hadn't eaten it. So I appreciate the sizing <laughs> yeah, right. of the British chocolate. Yeah, more. Right. It's more satisfying to yeah. me. Yeah, this one's great. Yeah. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the next one. Drink. Hey, don't. Mm -hmm. We have more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Drop us a comment. It's always, always an adventure with you. We'll see you next time.